so you've been here three weeks now. Um, how much are you enjoying your time at Prenton Park? Enjoying it, yeah. Obviously, we, since since I've come in, obviously we've had some good results. Obviously, Saturday was a bit of a blip, but um, wow. we got back to winning ways Tuesday night. The first two games I, I, I really enjoyed, and um, hopefully there's some more wins and, and stuff to come. But I've enjoyed my time certainly so far. And how hard is it to put a result like that at the back of your mind and then to put in a performance like you did against Stevenage? Is that something you learn to deal with as you, you know, join your career kind of thing? Um, yeah, I think it was tough for everyone to take um, probably the, man, the manner and obviously the way the, the, the defeat happened, obviously at home as well. So it was it was difficult. But listen, these things, these things happen. You have to pick yourself up quickly. And um, if, if you let it fester and if you let it, it builds in your mind, do you know what I mean? It's probably perfect for us that we had a game on the Tuesday, do you know what I mean? To to quickly come in, sharp turnaround, and then get straight back out there. And um, I don't think it was the best performance on Tuesday night, but the most important thing was the result, and we managed to get that. So um, with the light with that, and we, we, do you know what I mean? We go bouncing again in, in, into Saturday. And it shows how much confidence you have within the team that you can bounce back like that as well, doesn't it? Yeah, of course, exactly. That's the, and, that, and that was the main thing I that that was said straight after the game on Saturday. Listen, you know what I mean? We've, we've been humbled, but um, go again on, go again on Monday and get yourself right for, for Tuesday night because we've got another game, massive, massive game coming up. Sorry. So that was that was um, that was spoke about immediately after the game. And I, I feel, feel like that was probably the best way to approach it. And obviously having the game so close was was good to kind of get it out of your mind. And um not let it fester if you didn't have a game and, and you know what I mean, you're training all week and then, you know what I mean, it, it, it can fester and go through the week, but we put it right early and, um, like I said, we bounce into Saturday. And you are a new player into the side. Uh, what's it been like trying to get used to a style of play? Is it tricky for a player coming into a new club, getting used to it all? Um, no, not particularly. I think I'm quite adaptable. Listen, I'm, I'm, here, for, I'm here for the team, first and foremost, so whatever... Whatever required from me, do you know what I mean? I'm more than happy to do. And um, I, I don't think it's been a difficult transition, really. I think, feel like the gaffer has similar values to what it was at Burton in terms of what he expects from his strikers and how he, he wants his teams to kind of go after teams and press. And um, it's something I'm quite happy to do. So I don't think it's been much of a transition, now. And how eager are you to get your first goal for the club? Or is it important just to contribute to the team, really, when you first come in? Um, obviously, yeah, listen... I, Listen, you're a striker. Ultimately, you're always, always. I've said this before. You, you're always judged on your goals. But um, I think for me, I, I'm, I'm obviously want to score the goals, of course, and I, I'm, I'm eager for it to come. But as long as I'm putting in good performances and the team's playing well and, I, and I'm selected and um, I'm doing my bit for the team, then I think that's more important than me thinking, oh, I've got to score. I've got to, you know what I mean, do this, this, and this. It's, for me, it's, it's it's all about the team, and if, if the goals come, then that's a that's a reward on top of that. And you set up Kieran Morris for his goal on Tuesday. Um, is that something you like doing, creating goals as well? Um, like like I said, it's all about the team. If I can if I can stick some, one on a plate for for Kers and he can and he can rattle it in, then more than happy to do that. Um, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's a team game. There's no I in team. It's it's. Um, I'm not going to get this team promoted. We all want to get promoted. We all have to chip in and, and do what do what's worked for everyone. So, yeah, it's more than happy to, to lay it on for someone else to score, yeah. And you've come down from League One, of course. Was it an easy decision to make due to how good Tramier were doing and, you know, there's a good chance you could be playing in League One with Rovers next season? Well, that was the thing, yeah. It was... Um, it was... It, it was... It was a difficult decision for me because obviously I'm from Burton. I was playing for Burton. It was, do you know what I mean, I, I lived minutes away from the stadium, uh, from the training ground. So it was a difficult choice. But once I weighed it all up and thought, um, there's, there's maybe the future is not certain there. And I, I was often certain to hear and where Tranmere were in the league and speaking to the manager. Um, obviously, the, the the ambition now is to to. to Get back up to League One, which is where, which is where I want to be and play my football and test myself at the best level that I can I, I can play at. So um, yeah, that was definitely part of the pool. Yeah. How different is League One to League Two? Um, I don't think I don't think there's too much of a distance really. I think I think the with all, with all due respect, the top teams in League One are are, are very very good, and I, then I think. The pack below that 
the pack below that in League Two, I don't think there's much difference between any of them. Do you know what I mean? The budgets that, yeah, I don't know who's at the top of League One now, Sunderland's, Portsmouth, these kind of teams, the budgets that they've got, are Bolton, not Bolton, sorry, what's uh, Wigan, sorry. The budgets that the, these teams have, the players that they attract, do you know what I mean? They're, they're attracting championship players. I think everyone else below that that doesn't have that kind of budget all fall into the same kind of bracket. And I'd, I'd, I'd put that all the way through to League Two as well. So I don't think the the, the gap is is what people think it is. And do you think this side, if you do go off this season, do you think this side will, you know, more than cope in League One? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think I think that's that's proven with with teams that do go up. I don't think many teams go up and then back and then go and go straight back down. I think if 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 you keep your core group of players together, the, the team that gets you promoted, you you'll do fine in that league and you can and, with the right additions as well, you can you can see teams can go and push again. So um, I think hopefully, if we, if we put ourselves in that position, that'll be a bridge we can cross next year. And when you first came in, and how you've experienced it the first few weeks, do you think this is a club going places as well? Yeah, you like to think so. It's got every, it's got all the, the uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Facilities, should I say? It's got the fan base, it's got the stadium, it's got a good training ground, it's got everything that that clubs that want to go places, do you know what I mean, need to have. And um, obviously it's got, it's, it's got good backing as well. So, um, yeah, definitely, hopefully, like I said, if you put yourself in a position to, to be um, at the top end of the table come at the end of the season, then um, I think it's definitely got the, the ability and the, the facility, should I say, to, to go again. And you just mentioned the fans there. What was it like playing in front of 11,000 on Saturday against Forest Green? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's um, obviously from the clubs I've been at uh, the last couple of years, they don't kind of get them crowd. So it was nice to play in front of uh, a home, a home crowd. That that is, is what I'm is what I'm trying to allude to. Sorry, that you know I mean, you go away and you play at stadiums like that, but it's nice to have a home crowd that's that, that you've got that backing from. So yeah, it was it was a good atmosphere. Obviously, we were all disappointed with the way the game went, but um, it was still a good atmosphere to play. In. They give you a good backing away from home as well, don't they? Exactly, yeah, definitely. No, they give us a great backing even down at, um, where did we go? Um, Crawley. Crawley, sorry, yeah. Down to Crawley, yeah, great backing on me. It's a, it's a long way away so um, from here anyway. So, yeah, they give us a great backing and hopefully again we'll get a good one on, on um, Saturday. And there's a lot of young forwards at the club. How nice is it to pass on your experience to them as well? Uh, yeah, this is the well. This is the thing when you're getting a little bit older now. Do you know what I mean, people are looking at you to think, "Oh, what would he do? What's your bit of advice here?" So, as a senior member of the squad now, maybe yeah, it's it's, it's um it's it's one of them. It's if, listen if they've, if they've got something they want to come and talk about, if they want to go through something with me, I'm more than happy to. Do you know what I mean, we've all been there as a. I think being a striker is probably one of the most difficult positions to learn. Um, you, you need to be playing against men to learn how to be a really good striker, if that makes sense. Um, you need to learn how to cope physically, how to move. Do you know what I mean? For instance, the other night you're playing against that. I, I trained and played with with uh, the lad Boswick at Burton. Do you know what I mean? It's you don't want to get in a battle with him, and if you don't know that, you might end up getting in a battle with him and he'll dominate you. So early before the game, I'm saying to Paul, don't get in a battle with him, don't go anywhere near him, stay off him, don't let him feel you because if he does, he'll get the better of you. And that's what he does best. But if you stay in and around him and make runs off him, then he, he won't be able to live with you. And um, so just, just just little things like that. I hope, hopefully I can add some sort of um, experience. <laughs> yeah, now now I'm, I'm pushing the, the other side of uh, my 20s. Can you learn off them as well, the younger players? Can you, oh, can you see things where you, you yeah. think, oh, I might try that? Listen, every day is a school day. You can learn off anyone. Do you know what I mean? So, um, I'm I, I'm not. Um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I'm not thinking that I can't learn from anyone. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter how young you are. They might they might still have something that that I've not got or can't can't do very well, and I can learn from them. So yeah, definitely. And as you say, every day is a school day. Is there still things you can learn as well as a striker? You, is there something you want to improve yourself? Yeah, of course. No, definitely. Listen. It, I think for the last couple of years, I've been I've been trying to work on my heading. It, it's still not there. Obviously, Tuesday I hit the post of a header. A couple of years ago, I'd, I'd probably miss the ball altogether. But that's something I'm I'm trying to get better at. Trying to get my timing right, attacking it in in the box. And um, there's there's a listen. You want to play at the best possible level, and we're, we're all in League Two forever. 
League Two for a reason. So there's things that we can all get better at. Um, so it's, it's about trying to be professional and train well every day and trying to improve on them things. I spoke about the younger players. How uh, impressed have you been with the likes of Charlie Jolly, Elliot Nevitt, and Josh McFake, who's come in as well? Yeah, well, I played, I played with Josh at Dundee before, um, a couple of years ago, sorry. So I, I, I know about Josh before. I mean, yeah, they're, they're all good lads. They're all energetic around the place. And um, obviously, it's, it, it's good to see young players getting opportunities to play football as well. And um, like I said, hopefully I can push them in the right direction at times and um, I can feed off them as much as hopefully they feed off me. And you're in a pit, busy period at the moment. You're playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for three weeks running. Would you prefer to do that rather than train? Would you prefer to play? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Just um, sometimes it can it, sometimes it can be a long week. Do you know what I mean? Especially imagine if, if, if we didn't have a game Tuesday night and like I said, that that defeat on Saturday can be festering for the whole week, trying to think, I need to put it right, I need to put it right. You have a chance to put it right early. If you win, you bounce straight into the next game as well. So, um, yeah, I prefer to play, I'd, I'd play Saturday, Tuesday for the whole season, to be honest. But and finally, you got Barrow at the weekend. Uh, many memories of playing against Barrow. It, it's, they're not in the best of positions at the moment, but, you know, they are tough to play against away from home, aren't they? No, I've, I've, never, I've, never, I've never played against Barrow, so that'll be, it'll be a first for me. I'm looking forward to the trip and, um, I say, hopefully we can go there and get a positive result and um, put my first out in there, yeah.